Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 5 of Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. As you can see, we are now on what you see is what you get. Friar Tuck has given us the mission to go and build reputation in the Varnsdale region. We're at 0 of 40%. So if we press J, we can open our active quests and we can see here we're on 0% at the moment. So if we go across to our map, uh, we can do that from here. We can see all of the different areas. Now, in the prologue, we can only access this highlighted area. It's a limited area just to get started. We can't go outside of this just yet, but there is still a lot to do. So the first thing we can see are these camps. Now, the reputation is not gained. There are enemies in the camp. This means we can go and liberate these camps. We also have quests that are available that we can go and complete. There are multiple different quests available so we can do the quests we can go to the camps and these are all things that we're going to do in this video so let's start by heading over to our good friend here because there was a quest earlier that we saw which we didn't start so let's talk to little john stop me i'm hurting all over robin it's good to see you too john what happened oh something snapped in me back i can barely bend down but that must be normal at your age. Marion will make you a bomb for it. At my age? You've forgotten about our meeting on the bridge or what? You don't forget a blow like that. Although, I have been managing better in fights since then. Couldn't be any other way with a teacher as excellent as me. <laughs> you fancy a little adventure? And a friend as excellent as you, John. What adventure do you have in mind? Nothing epic. A few thugs wanted too close, and need to have their faces caved in for it. You ready to teach them a lesson? I'll show you where they are. I'll gladly warm up my bones, and you be sure to mind yours. Excellent! Teeth are going to fly. Let's meet at the edge of the village. Okay, so, little John has now gone, and we have to go and meet him at the edge of the village. If we press M, open up the map. Uh, we'll be able to see where it is that we need to go. And so, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to follow, as you can see, where John is. There's that little um, alert there. Now, we can press J to open up the journal. We can go to Active Quests. Now, we're currently on the main quest, which is what we're tracking. And for that, we need to build up reputation. But we also have a side quest here, Merry Men's Operation. So, in order to do this, we need to track the quest. So... We press J, we click on the side quest, and we click track quest. Now when I go to the map, we're going to see a new icon that wasn't there before, and this is the new quest that we are tracking. It's now in our compass, and we know exactly where we need to go. So in order to complete this mission, you first need to press J, track the mission so it's active, and then we need to head out and meet little John. He's going to teach us combat. All right, so to do that, you can see we're in this walled area. There are ways out. We just need to find the paths, and there are a few of them. Uh, you can kind of see where we are right now. We're, we're over at this Boulders Gate Mine. Now, we talked about this before. Now, before we go up, and I will do that in a moment, I just want to take you in here. We talked about this in our last video. This was the stone video. So if I go ahead and select my pickaxe, you'll now see these nodes, and they will glow red. As a result, they're all in here. They're all the same. You just simply go up to any one of these and you hit them the same way as you would a tree. When you do that, you'll get the option to hit them quicker if you get it right. When you do the top layer, and you need to do the top layer first, then the bottom layer will become available. Once you hit that, you'll see all of this stone, which we can now pick up as a result. So if you want to pick up any stone or additional stone, this is where you can do it. Uh, we didn't need to do that in the last mission, though. There was no need for it, so um, we didn't come out here. But right now, we're going to go up and meet Little John. So, up here, we're now leaving the area. So, we're leaving our camp. And we're going out into the forest. So, let's go and see. Speak to Little John. Finally, you're here. I'm the one with so bones here, not you. I saw a camp in this area. You're fiendishly fast for such a bruiser. What is this camp? Regular thugs, but they can cause trouble if they find us. Besides, so them hide in something in the hollow tree. Now you have my attention, John. No time to waste. 
Let's get moving. First things first. Sneak up to the guard there. He's watching the cam and he doesn't look tougher than you, so you shouldn't have a problem. All right. I'll hide in the grass. This will be easy. Okay, so there we go. We can see the guard. He's over there. So we know where we need to go. And now we're going to learn about the art of shadows. If you want, you can surprise your enemy and attack them from behind or from above. These attacks can instantly kill the enemy if their level isn't higher than Robin's and if it's not a special or elite opponent. Whether you are visible to your enemies depends on factors such as armor type, skill level, time of day, light source. You can also hide in tall grass or some bushes by simply crouching in them. Noise is another factor you must take into account. Consider, for example, that running makes it easier for your enemies to hear you from a greater distance than walking. There are also certain items in the world that can produce noise. You can use them to your advantage, but mind you don't just recklessly bump into them. All right, so understanding that we have to use the art of the shadows, we have to sneak, we have to uh, use light as well as sound, in order to be able to avoid detection. All right, so we're gonna creep up to our guard who should be around here somewhere. There he is, we can see him in front of us. Now he can't see us because we're in the long grass. And you can see there's no alert here, he can't see us. We can creep up behind him right now and then we'll get this alert, this icon here. We press left click with that icon and he'll perform a takedown. There we go, we can now pick up the sack of coins and go back into hiding. All right, excellent. So now we need to go back and speak to uh, little John again. Now we've done that. Very, very easy. Just need to make sure you have that icon when you press the left mouse button, otherwise it will not work. And that's how it's done, old timer. I'll admit, uh, not too bad. No, I would have bucked a bigger punch for it. I have no doubt about that, John. Maybe you'll demonstrate that bigger punch on some other brigands. I can barely move with this here back. You trying to do me in? Take care of him and come back to me. Alright, so. Now we need to defeat the camp that is threatening the village. Check what the bandit stashed in the tree. And then go back and speak to Little John. Now there are two ways that we can approach this camp. We can either run in. Um, sword swinging. Or we can creep in and we can use stealth. So if you're a stealthy player, you've got that option. If you're more of a run and gun player, you also have that option. Um, we're going to go ahead and try and be as stealthy as we can until the point that we get alerted and then we'll just go into fight mode. So you have options. Now as we move forward, you'll start to see the camp there in the distance. I can also see a guard on the road moving left to right in front of us. Uh, there's another guard moving right to left up on the hill up here. So we're just starting to be aware of what's going on and who's where. We're trying not to get seen. That's the main thing. We can see there's a guard right here. And there's another guard up on the left hand side. So watching their patterns is one thing you can do. Seeing where they move from and to. Again, trying not to make any noise because that can get us alerted. There we go. He's seen us. So because we made noise, he saw us. There's one here as well. So now we have two guards, three guards. So now we have to go into fight mode. So good news is fighting these guards is quite easy. They target you one at a time. Uh, we can press right mouse to block and we can do our attack. We can also move out the way if we need to. Press spacebar uh, to back off should we need to. Oh, we just chopped the poor guy's head off. So that's that's one guy done. We'll take his coins. And on to the last guy. So, because of the attack mode, remember there's two modes. There's free mode and there's locking mode. We're on locking mode right now, which means wherever we go, uh, we're going to attack here. Now also, remember, if we parry right before he attacks, we should be able to counter. There we go. So that was nice and easy. We managed to kill all of the guards. All right, now we need to be aware that there might be others, but the music will normally tell you if there is or if there isn't. 
Um, so not too difficult at the moment. Nice and easy. So now we can come up to this camp. Now looking around this camp, we can see things to pick up. Right now there's some gold coins. We can pick those up. We can see this barrel that we can choose. There's some curled eel and a stone necklace. We'll take those. Uh, coming over to here, we can see there's some tar. We'll pick up that. And we can continue to look around. We can press R if we need to, to see if there's anything else to collect. There isn't, but there is another guard over here. So he hasn't seen us yet. So he must have not heard all the noise and all the commotion. So we can sneak up behind him and hopefully he won't turn around. And if he doesn't... Oh. We didn't quite get the takedown on him because we didn't get the icon. But we did manage to get a special door key by killing him. So, pick up the sack of coins. We're also going to pick up some barley bread and another sack of coins. Excellent. So now we've got the key. We'll take up the coins. Press R to look around. There's something right here. This is an onion. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything else around here, though. So we're going to go back towards this tree and down towards this camp. All right, so continuing to look around, we can see there's some salt. There's also a chest here, which has got in it a beer, some garlic, some wooden arrows, which we'll take, a yarrow balm, and some roast dough. So we'll take all of that. Excellent. We'll come out. Again, we're just going to have another look around. See if there is anything else on this table here. We can see there is a blunt pickaxe. We'll take that. All right. Is there anything else? There is nothing else apart from this door here, which we can see. So walk up to this door. We need to use the key. There's a chest in the chest. We now have a stolen item. So that's what we need to see. What they've uh, stashed in the tree. And now we need to go back and speak to Little John. So again, there's two ways that you can achieve these missions. You can either use bow and arrow. Uh, you can come in that way. If you go for headshots, you'll get the kill. You won't alert people. You can use stealth or you can just go in sword swinging and try and kill them that way. Up to you. But just remember, if you do get into a fight, blocking and docking and dodging, uh, these are skills that you want to be able to learn because the combat will get harder as the game progresses. What did those dodgers hide in there? Looks like loot from a theft, some gold, some jewelry, everything covered in flour. Find out who this could be, John, and return it to the owner. I'll have a look around the area as soon as I feel better. By the way, do you ever miss our looting days? Remember how one time you had me put on a frog and... Well, I myself pretended to be blind to fool the sheriff. Yes, I remember. Good times, John. By God! He was howling mad like a wolf when he figured out how we duped him. Could still hear him from a league away and got a bit of gold while at it. Maybe we'll pull off something like that again. Right now, it's time to look after the village. You grow ever more reasonable with time, my friend. But you're right. We'll meet back home. Okay, so you can see right now we've got 1.5% reputation. So we've got a little bit more reputation there by doing that. And we've just completed that mission. So that's the first mission completed. And that is now done. So we have another quest available at home. And a few more out here. So we'll continue these quests. And we'll see what else we can do as a result. Now also remembering that whilst we're doing these quests. There's no correct order to do them in. There's no right or way to do this. Um, but we are just going to go over and do another quest now. Um, we're going to go back here. So again, we can set the destination if we want to. Click here. So we've got the point of interest. And we can see that on our map. And we can head towards it. Just making sure that we don't... That's a long way down. We don't want to fall down there. So we can take a little little road here. And we can just gently kind of navigate our way down. We can do this quite safely. That is quite a long jump there though. So we want to be careful. You do not want to hurt yourself. Because if you fall too far like this, you will hurt yourself. Remember, if you do that, press I... Uh, make sure you've got your Yarrow Potion. Then I can simply go ahead and drink it. And that will heal me. Okay, right. So let's head over. Back at Boulders Gate Mine. Heading down towards our camp. And we also gathered quite a lot just by going out and doing uh, that quest. So things that we can either sell. Maybe things that we can cook. Other things that we can do. But for now, we've done everything that we need to do here. Let's go back and look at this next quest. And it's just here. I know 
it's not in your nature, Marion. But have you had some rest since the escape? I could ask you the same thing, my dear. The Prince of Thieves needs to rest too. Now you're just mocking me. The Prince of Thieves. A little, but mostly worrying. So many sleepless nights have passed to settle here. There's no end in sight. Are you handling our people all right? I tended to whom I could with what little there was left in the herbal satchel. I can gather new plants myself, but we need more serious equipment to look after the gravely injured. Tell me how I can help you. We have most of the construction materials, as well as the plans. Collect some reed for me. It usually grows by rivers and other bodies of water. And later... Look over the construction. Okay, so now we're going to press J and we're going to go on to this side quest. Same as before. Click on the side quest. Track the quest. Okay, so now we can see pine in storage, reeds in storage. We need to gather resources and deliver them to the storage. So we're going to go and find some reeds. And remember how we did this before. And it's getting quite dark now, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see these. Um, but you will still be able to. So we're going to head down along the river here. And in doing so, we're looking out for... Remember what they were? They were these orange hot dogs that we saw. Hot dogs on sticks. So that's what we're looking for at the moment. So we're going to run all the way down here, keeping an eye out. And as you can see, we're kind of running down here uh, this way at the moment. All right, so let's keep going. Now we're kind of just going down this way to the right here. Going to see if we can see anything as we run. There's one right ahead of us. I can just see it here. Also, it looks like there's some people there. Oh, didn't quite make that up, but that's okay. We'll go around. So it looks like another bandit camp here we're going to have to deal with as well. So another one we're going to have to sort out. There's no more on this side. And we don't quite want to go over to that bandit camp just yet. So we're going to just creep around. And for now, yeah, we're just going to head over here and pick up these. So there we go. Some reeds there. Some more reeds here. Avoiding those people that are over there. And there's actually some more reeds over here. Perfect. And also there's a barrel. So we'll take this. Why not while we're here? Open a barrel and there is a coarse pouch. A yarn pouch with a thick lining. But no ornaments. Or particular value. We'll take it anyway. Alright. There's some more reeds over here. We'll take those. And now we have enough reeds. We already had five in storage. We only needed a few more. We have those. Let's go ahead and take our axe out. So we can get some more of these. Because we need some more pine as well. And we can just chop down a couple of these trees. Excellent. So that should be enough, actually. We don't need any more. But on the way back through, we will just take a couple more. So now you can see, if we head over to the right, this is the way we want to go. Um, but in doing so, we're just going to take a couple of trees on the way. And that way we'll have enough pine to... Not only to do this uh, quest that we need, but also maybe we can get another house as well. And that way get a few more workers and a bit more food. Okay, so we'll do one more tree here. Excellent. All right, let's have a quick look. And let's see how many we have. So in our storage, we have 32. We needed 25. We know we've got enough. In fact, we'll just take this tree because that should be enough for not only this quest, but also for that house. Now we're keeping an eye on our food and our water. We can see that they're both about 50% on the left-hand side. Excellent. Okay, let's head back. We've got everything that we need right now. And this is the building area. There's the house that we built earlier. We're going to go and put these into the resources. So, in here. And then we're going to put in our pine. We're going to put in our stone. And we're going to put in our reeds, which is what it asked us to do. I'm also going to take our blunt pickaxe that we've got here because we had a stone pickaxe and a blunt pickaxe. And you can kind of see the difference. Uh, in fact, I would go and argue that the blunt pickaxe is probably not as good. So we can actually sell that later. We don't need it. 
Uh, is there anything else we need? We've got some dough meat here. Um, we've also got some barley bread, so we can put that down. We've got some cheese. Oh, we've got some roasted dough. We can take that as well. Um, I don't think we can use the onion or the garlic without anything else. Uh, the salt we need as well for later for cooking. Curled eel, we'll put that in here. Uh, the rest of the stuff at the moment, we can't really use that. It doesn't really have a purpose at the moment. Uh, so we're going to just leave those as they are. But this is the stuff in storage. All right, so now we can construct the alchemy lab. So we'll come back to here. Construct the alchemy lab. So for that, we're going to go to workshop, down to alchemy. We need five workers. So here we're going to go to miners. Then we're going to lose this one that's making stone for us, which is a shame. But we do have four pieces of stone. So we're going to take those four pieces of stone and send them to the storage. That's now done. Great. Let's also look at the other workers that we have here. So we have six pieces of food. Great. We're going to take out all of these workers so they're gone. We'll take those six pieces of food and put it in storage. Great. All right. Now we've got our five workers. Uh, four available, but total five. So there's another worker somewhere. Don't know where the other worker is, actually. Total workers five. Available workers four. Oh, because we have one in the furnace. Yes. Yes, there's a worker assigned to the furnace. That's correct. So we only have uh, four. So we need the other house. We need the other house first before we do anything else. Now, we have enough coins. We have enough pine and stone. So let's go ahead and build our house. Now, we've already built one on here. Uh, we can build one on here. We've already built one on here. So let's build one on this left-hand side. All right. So now the workers will build this. So we can see we have two workers going and building this house. And this will give us additional workers. And that will be the five that's required for the next task. The question is, do we now have enough? No, we need more coins. So we do not have enough coins at the moment. So let's go and sell some things to make another 50 or so coins. All right, so we're going to exit this. They're building over there. So we'll leave those and we'll come to the trader. And we've got a few things we we're out and about. We got some tar. So let's go ahead and we can sell this stone necklace. All right, let's sell that. Oh, we can sell the tar for now. Sell the beer for now. We don't need that blunt pickaxe, because remember we had the stone pickaxe. We can sell the blunt pickaxe. Only three coins. Everything else at the moment, we're going to keep. Everything else we want right now. All of the pine resin, we're going to sell that as well. All right. So now we've got enough coins, just by selling a few of those items that we don't need right now. And now we're able to come back here. Okay, so now look, we have seven available workers, and that means we can make this weaving mill, uh, this um, alchemy lab. So, looking at where we are, let's come down here, and we're going to place this building, and we're going to place it just about here. Doesn't really matter where we place it. Uh, you can place it wherever you want. I'm going to put it just here. There we go. And now that's going to be built. So we're going to just wait for that to be built, and we're going to get the hunters and get those back out, the ones that aren't working. And now we have one person in the furnace, and we will have one person in here, which will leave six available workers, hopefully, because there'll be one in here and one in here. Uh, so now we'll have six available. We've got two assigned here. So let's go ahead and sign the rest, and they're all going to make food for us. Great. So now we're going to have lots, lots of food. We've got 18 food right now, which is great. That means that we could actually chop down a couple more of these trees if we wanted to. So as you can see, all of these trees, all of this space... Uh, we have the ability to do this, but it does cost food. So just need to bear that in mind as we're doing this. So I'm not going to do any more because we need the food. But you can see how we need food to be able to do this job. All right. So now they're going to be making food for us. So that will fill up our storage. We don't need to go and hunt for it. And all the time we are gathering this, uh, this birch that we're going to use later. So here's the alchemy. We come down here and we can see now we can craft if sulfur, acid... We can make a yarrow potion. That means free yarrow is required. And also a water bottle. So we can see that. Um, also yarrow uh, balm. Uh, sage potion, sage balm and a honey compress. So different things that we can make. Uh, and just good to know that that's uh, all available for us. Alright. So now we have that. Let's go back and speak to Marion. Okay, she is over here. Yes, exactly it, Robin. 
applying broadleaf poultices won't help with serious wounds. Now I can get to some real work. If it hadn't been for you, half of us wouldn't have survived the winter. You can't imagine how grateful I am that you're here. Getting all sentimental? I'm here with you and I believe in what you're fighting for. We're fighting together. Besides, I can't quite imagine returning to the royal court and those perfumed toadies. That's true, Marion. Though it's still a long road ahead of us. Shorter with every day, my love. Do what you have to, and I'll make sure the village is functioning properly while you're away. Keep an eye on Tuck and Little John from time to time. They can be like two cats in a bag. There's no cure I know of for their strain of camaraderie, but I can keep an eye on them or a lash over them. There's one more thing, Robin. Yes? Take my sash and place it at home. Let it draw you back to it with my thoughts. Okay. So, whilst we didn't gain any additional reputation there, what we did manage to do was build the alchemy, and we've now completed another quest. So, those two internal quests that we had within Robin's village are now completed. We also have two more quests outside of the village, as well as the camps. And the camps, as you can see, this one is highlighted here in white. Uh, and that is because the reputation has been gained. We've been to that enemy camp. This one we have not, and it says reputation not gained. Because we have been here, it is now white. If we have not been here, it is grey. So just something to bear in mind. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, join us in the next video when we will finish the additional two quests and continue to build our reputation.